Yo, what are we saying? <clears throat> Bulk update 14. So far, so good. Uh, training's been going well. I've noticed some uh, muscle memories kicking in, so I'm making, I'm making a lot of the progress that I've lost from my previous bulk, but yeah. In terms of injuries, no injuries. My, my knees are doing better. I think that's because when I do my squat, like when I do my leg days, I started prioritizing squats and healthier leg movements. I've realized that I can't really get away with just doing the accessories. Like doing maybe five sets of squats is way better than two sets of leg extension and three sets of hamstring. Cause I'm sort of practicing like, I'm practicing the, um, the movements that activate the muscles properly. And I think that's sort of helping to build all of my, like, I think the term is ancillary muscles. So like if I do a squat to target my quads, I'm not necessarily just hitting my quads during the squat. I'm hitting my calves and other bit and like stabilizers, stuff like that. So I've been able to, um, to get back, I think all of my mobility that I've lost. <clears throat> and I've sort of learned that I need to take I need to take a lot of other things seriously like not doing not working too much or being too active and doing doing too many things that require me to like to walk or run just so that I can preserve preserve my knees my shoulder I've sort of doing to to stop the pain that I'm getting on my right shoulder during during pressing movements I've started doing um incorporating side like um side lateral raises and rear delt raises as well so i do like a super set maybe like four sets yeah just so i started incorporating them more just in in my upper days so that at least i think i've, I've read this somewhere saying i'm not i'm not completely i don't know like all the facts when it comes to like preventing injuries and all this but i've read that um, training the muscles around where you're sensitive can help to to like, minimize the risk of injury and also I think looking back on how I've been training I have been neglecting my shoulders and I think that's showing itself in the flare-ups so my my thought process behind it is if I actually put in like six months of just hard work into them I can hopefully get to a position where I have a lot more of a balanced physique and where I'm overall just healthy but if the pain carries on for another like month or two i will like pay a visit to like a physio or someone that's that knows about the anatomy so that they can pinpoint if i have any sort of structural flaws that i can address with like band work and and so on but i wanted to cover um a question that got asked it was about supplements i'll put it up on the screen but for for anyone that's that's bulking and that's looking to make serious long term results, aside from creatine, I'd maybe recommend um, incorporating and adding like electrolytes right before your training session, and you can find them in any store. But it basically includes like stuff like vitamin C. I think my my thought process behind it, I started using them and I found the um, the pump I get is a lot better. Uh, I, I don't get as much brain fog because that can be a problem when you're you're eating high carbs and high calories in general but other than that I think when you sweat a lot from from being into fitness you can sweat a lot of very useful minerals and oftentimes people don't realize that if you start to do like physical exercise and you don't change your diet to suit it you're actually going to do more damage than good in the long run so that's the thing I'd recommend. Aside from that, just eat good food. I'll probably make a video, I think I've said this before at some point about what I eat, but nothing's gonna beat whole foods. Nothing's gonna beat the advantages of having having foods with um, with a very good micronutrient profile. And um, you could buy supplements, like certain types of vitamins, but I think, at least in my opinion, because you're only having one type of, of, um, of vitamin and 
not not on all the others it could sort of be incomplete so your body's not really going to be able to to make use of them but stuff like um i forgot d3 vitamin d3 if you're in a country with not that much sun maybe you could supplement with that and it'll help you but generally speaking the best thing you could do is just have good food and have a lot of carbs but yeah uh if you like the video like and subscribe and yeah peace out